Hi everyone, apologies for the delay. I've been struggling with flu symptoms for the past few weeks. It was pretty awful. Finally, here is my idyllic Taffington Boathouse family estate. The Taffingtons are actual descendants of the original owners of the boathouse and have managed to establish themselves as business partners of Bunker Hill. Each caravan has their own stand at the side of the road where anybody passing by can stop for equipment as well as buy fresh seafood and vegetables from the Taffingtons. Only one caravan group subs by and stays for several days before the next one arrives. I've never seen two of them at the same time, I don't think it's possible. I used the mod Karen Trading Post Enhanced for this. Unfortunately, they have pathfinding issues and will not stand directly behind the counter, but otherwise it's a pretty cool mod. You've got to be kidding me. This is Eleanor, the little sister of Mother Cecilia. Her husband was killed by raiders a few years back. The other members of the family are Grandpa Jasper, his son Samuel, and the kids Dorothy and Oscar. Uh, hi there. What's going on? Oscar wants to be Excuse a birdie me. bird pilot when he's grown up, so he can shoot all super Everyone. mutants from the sky. Sounds rough. His parents are firmly against such nonsense. They expect the kids to carry on the business. Well, hello. Huh? What? This is a drivable junk boat from a wonderful mod that I highly recommend. All of my settlements with water axes will have one so I can drive between them. The Taffingtons use it to drive out to sea and fish for radioactive monstrosities. Wind demand is too high for the modest fish farm. Two guard dogs help keep the family safe. I downloaded a mod that lets me pet any dog. Finally! The family lost two members in recent years. Grandmother Priscilla died of cancer, and little Caleb died from a mole rat bite at the tender age of four. He was trying to protect his older siblings. He was a fearless boy.
I roleplay the deserted paintings of the original owners, wealthy merchants from Boston who had a summer house at the river, where they fished for sport. They survived the bombs in the private bunker. Many decades later, their great-great-granddaughter reclaimed the boathouse from a bunch of scavers holed up there. Her grandson Jasper carries on the family name to this day. The Taffingtons are a proud family who have preserved an air of sophistication in this decrepit world. They are earnest, hard-working people, friendly to customers but very private and mistrustful of anybody who gets too close. They are a bit technophobe and won't use robots, for example. They are paranoid of sins and think the railroad of fools. The bedroom is protected by a security door, so that no raider can kill them in their sleep. We'll just ignore that the frame is made out of wood and that there's a shelf full of weapons and ammunition outside the secure room. Hell yeah. Up on the roof, Grandpa Jasper keeps a hawk's eye on the area, ready to shoot all unwelcome visitors. I carefully handpicked settlers so that the ages roughly match a family of several generations. Once in a while, Jasper takes a break to paint. Children can only farm or sit at school desks. I wish I could make them vendors too. This is the ghoul postman from Bunker Hill. The Tapnictons are a bit scared of ghouls and consider their existence unnatural, but they are polite to them. At night, the family likes to walk around the trader stands. The kids are having uh, fun, it seems.
kids will use smoking markers, but hey, it's the apocalypse. I mean, what's lung cancer compared to getting butchered by super mutants, right? I made the boathouse as peaceful and idyllic as possible. No high fences or anything, it's my most open settlement. Double bats and bunk bats count as two bats, but only one settler will actually sleep in it. The other one will wander around all night, which kind of sucks, but well. Nori is coming back to visit and see how everybody's doing. He's nice like that. He may also collect their money, but uh, he's also making sure everyone's fine. boathouse has moderate turret protection, but it seems sufficient. Most of the enemies spawn at the other side of the river and get shot down immediately. The boathouse hasn't suffered any damage yet. Once again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy my settlement stories. Next up is Green Top Nursery, my hippie settlement.